Good afternoon, it's Kristen Hancock, the Simcoe County Stamper, and I am here with another Share a Tip Tuesday. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Simply Chamois. So you can find that in the annual catalog on page 145. So it's right here, it's $11, um, and it's great for beginners or pros. It's great for cleaning both your rubber and your photopolymer stamps. It's quick and easy. I had somebody ask me about the chamois the other day and it made me realize that I hadn't used mine in a while. I've made some changes in my craft room and it kind of got tucked away. And so I've pulled it out. Your chamois will come in a plastic bag like this and it's damp. When you take it out, you'll notice that it's damp. I keep mine in a um, cling mount case, just like this, like a, it's kind of the same as a DVD case. And the reason for that is it's not um, airtight, so air can still get in there at the chamois. If you put it in something like a Ziploc bag where it's going to be totally enclosed, it will grow some mold and some bacteria, so you don't want to do that. Keeping it in this case, if you're not using it on a regular basis, like I haven't been because I tucked mine away, it will go hard. <laughs> but when you add water, it goes right back to being um, malleable. So it's, it's awesome. If it gets rock hard like this, don't worry. Just add some water and it will come right back to life. So the great thing about the chamois is that all you do need to do with it is add some water. It will stain, as you can see, over time, but it doesn't affect the quality of it. It just makes it look a little bit um, well loved. So you're just gonna add, after you've used it to clean off your stamps, you're just gonna add some water and then you can just squeeze it. Or, I that's how I do mine. I tend to roll it and then I just squeeze really well underneath the running water. Let me just grab a stamp and I'll show you. Okay, so I've got a stamp on a block here. And I just wanna show you cleaning it, just how easy it is. So when you've stamped your image, you can then choose to clean it. Um, there we go, I've stamped my image. I can take the chamois and I can clean my stamp or I can use the chamois in the case and just clean my stamp this way. Just pressing gently. Sometimes um, if you're an overzealous stamper and you push a little bit hard into your ink pad, you will get ink on your block like that. And the chamois is awesome for that because you can just pick it up, and clean your block. If you've gone over the edge there, see how there's all kinds of extra ink. You can just clean that ink off too. So, super easy to use the chamois. I prefer leaving mine in the case and just kind of pressing down. And you can flip it over and use the other side as well. Easy peasy. And then like I said, now you could just take that over to your sink and rinse it and all of that ink will wash away. And you just keep squeezing until it runs clear and then you're good to go again. You don't have to clean it after every stamp use, but you'll notice um, when you go to stamp an image, if it's not coming out, I always use my scrap paper, if it's not coming out clear, then it's time to clean either your stamp and scrub or your stamp and chamois. That's 
pretty good indication that it's too dirty to be cleaning anymore for you. So I hope that if you don't already have the chamois that you'll give it a try because it's super simple to use. It's a really good value at only $11 and I love mine. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And if you have any other tips for using yours, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.